Hi guys, it's Cheryl the Craftnut32. I'm here today with a quick card share and a process video of making a card very similar to this one. Um, this card was super cute. I loved how it turned out. A little while ago I went to my local craft book store and I got this stamp set. It is a Hero Art stamp set. I made it a bit easier like this. And I believe it's called Sky's the Limits. And I got it because of this rainbow. I love this rainbow and this little sheep. I thought it'd be great, the little sheep and the bird for some scene cards and um, just the stars and the moons and the shooting stars. Well, shooting star, I love it. Um, so this is the card that I created right off the bat. I got home and I kind of tore it apart and this is what I created. The little rainbow was from the stamp set. I just fussy cut it and colored it with my Spectrum NAR markers. I added a little bit of Wink of Stella glitter to the bottom clouds. I'm not sure if that's picking up. Anyway, it's just a little bit of something special for when you're looking at it. The sentiment comes from the stamp set. The clouds also, they were stamped in Audrey Blue and Sea Glass, so I'm in the stamp ink. And I love it. It is super sweet. So I wanted to make a couple more like it. And then I thought about other images I have um, that would go really well with these clouds. I love these clouds. So that's what I'm going to do today. I have... So here I have a piece of cardstock that's an 8.5 by 11 cut in half. So when folded, it is a 5.5 by 4 and a quarter card. I have pre-scored it, so all I have to do is grab my bone folder and give it that nice crisp edge. I'm going to start off with the Audrey Blue from Simon's Stamp for that smallest open cloud. And I'm going to start stamping in a similar pattern that I did with my previous card. Um, I've decided just to give it another quick swipe with the bone folder to make sure that crease is nice and crisp. And then I'm just going to stamp out um, a similar pattern to last time. And here I'm grabbing the sea glass um, blue from Simon's the Stamp for the next two sets of clouds. This first one, little polka dots, I think is really sweet. And it is nice and big, so it's really nice to kind of overlap with the darker blue for that one. And then this next cloud is kind of smaller, but it's really cute and really fun with a little plaid pattern. And I'm just going to kind of fill out any spaces, any holes that's left. So I'm going to put my ink away and, well, the blue inks away. And then I'm going to grab the stamp set I'm going to be using for that cute little sun. It is from a paper tray ink, Heart to Heart number 6 stamp set. And then I'm going to grab some Sunshine Yellow ink from Simon Says Stamp. I have already die cut out that little sunshine and now I've stamped him. And I just think he's really sweet. I love how he turned out and I think it's great with the blue colors from the clouds. For the sentiment I have my Think Big Favorites number 15. And I'm going to be using the Hello Sunshine. So I've grabbed my Fisker, Fiskers stamp press um, block there. And I'm just going to position it. I kind of pulled it off camera, but I'm going to position it just kind of down and out of the way so I can ensure that it's nice and in the center. And for that, I've used some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And so now I'm grabbing some little pop dots, and I'm just going to pop up my, my little sunshine. And then I'm going to place it just right in the center. I like to make sure it's just right. And so here I have some cute little yellow hearts that I've cut with a lawn fawn border from the stitched tag, journaling tag die set. And I'm using a zig 2 way glue to just glue down those hearts to kind of finish off around the Hello Sunshine sentiment. I'm using some little tweezers just to get a nice kind of coverage with glue on the back and just to be able to position it wherever I want. It always seems when I use the Zig 2 glue everything sticks to my fingers and I can't get it on the card exactly where I want. So one last touch I thought would be really cute is to grab my Wink of Stella clear glitter and just to go over those little hearts, kind of give it a nice little shine. And I chose some yellow recollections paper just so it'd be nice and bright. 
And so that's my cute little card. Thanks for watching. I hope you're having a great day. Bye.